question. Are you a YouTuber? Do you feel like your YouTube uploads aren't as good as the originals you just edited? If you said yes to any of those two questions and or you want a free gift at the end of this YouTube video, just stick around. Maybe I can help you out. So before we get into the main bulk of the video, I just want to say that I go live on Twitch. Link is in the description. And if you like what you see here or it's helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe and click that little notification bell. So you want to know how to get high quality YouTube videos or it feels like your original upload isn't as good as your original edit and your quality. Well, that's an easy fix. And I'm going to tell you how to do it with free editing software. And I'll show you all about that in a second. Down there then. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> if we have a look at the example on screen right now, there are two identical videos. It's the same file, it's the same everything apart from one difference. Or two if you want to be really nitty gritty about the bitrate, but it, all right, so there's two differences. <laughs> and that is the resolution it was rendered at and uploaded at. Okay, difference here on screen for the two different videos, you can clearly see there's more blotchiness and more pixelation happening one of them that's because one of them has been uploaded in 1080p and the other in 1440p right click on a video and go down to staff as nerds you'll see the codec 1080p one shows as avc but the 1440p shows as vp9 avc is a lower quality encoder that youtube uses for the majority of their low-end youtubers and the other one vp9 is saved for the bigger youtubers and the the, the partnered ones so it's a higher quality of an encoder which results in better quality you get me and this is how you do it by rendering your videos out and uploading them in 1440p it's a proven thing and it works for me okay the free editing software that i want to talk to you about is something called davinci resolve there's a link in the description below for the website for davinci resolve and i would definitely go check it out before we go any further whatsoever you're probably saying to me i cannot capture in 1440p that's absolutely fine if you are on xbox if you're on the computer and you do not have the capabilities to record in 1440p or you do not have a natural monitor that does 1440p that is absolutely fine Record in whatever resolution you can, preferably 1080p, as you only upscale that the least amount. What do you render it out as? Go down to deliver. If you do want to upload at 1440p to get that VP9 encoding, this is what you need to do. You change your file name to whatever it is. You change your location to wherever you want to save it. You want to keep it as a single clip. Your video needs to be checked marked. There's different formats, but let's just stick to QuickTime, H.264 codec, and down here, the resolution is the key element. This, you're gonna have to change it to custom, and then change the exact same format again, 2560 to 1440p. Frame rate, the exact same as what your timeline was. Now, here is the issue here. If we go over to YouTube, recommended bitrate for SDR uploads, you can see for 1080p, for a 60 frame second video, you need to do 12 megabytes per second output that there is fine go to 15 if you like okay because all that's going to do is that once it gets too big of a file size let's say you render out 1080p video at 600 megabits okay it's just going to go it's just going to squish it down even further so keep it as close to this value as you want 2k footage for 1440p footage it says 24 megabytes per second and those two ranges are what we want to keep closest to so you can click here and go 24,000 kilobytes, which is 24 megabytes and restrict it to that. You can, but I tried this out by just clicking automatic quality and go to best. This will output the video in the same resolution as you put and it will pick the best bit rate for this video. If we leave it at automatic best, encoding profile set to auto. You can change this to high, but just leave it to auto. It's absolutely fine. Automatic keyframes, everything else I have not messed with. Leave everything else the same. Audio, linear PCM, 16 bit rate, and then file, but you can change the custom name blah 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 if you want to save this go to this free dot up here and save as a new preset and then from that you can select it every single time all you need to do there is add to render queue and click start render that there is how you get your videos to be uploaded in a vp9 format if it doesn't happen straight away it does take a few hours to actually encode itself once it gets into youtube so if you're uploading on thursday let's say make sure you upload the video on wednesday just to give it a day just to kind of go there if not 
give it a couple of hours to get to the 1440p resolution. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you like this video and you want to see more, click that like button, subscribe if you want to support the channel and click that little notification bell to be notified for when the next video goes online. Now, you're probably wondering what the free gift is. You see that down there? The like, subscribe and the little bell notification. I'm going to give that out. That there is something I created myself, something to give back to you, to say thank you for all the support you've been showing me on my channel. And it will help any new or existing YouTuber who wants just one of those like subscribe buttons. I created it. It's yours. Go over to my discord. There should be a section in there that says creator support and it'd be a download file within there. And I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye.